Hello fellow movie fans, uh, glad you could join me, glad you're here. Um, this is going to be my review of Manchester by the Sea, uh, one of the um, Oscar nominated pictures of the year, uh, out of the nine I believe that they did. And it's uh, that Casey Affleck, stars Michelle Williams, uh, I'm blanking on the Tyler Chandler, um, and uh, a little cameo by uh, Matthew Broderick. So it's uh, it's not one of those movies that are uh, easy to watch. Uh, some people probably couldn't, wouldn't want to watch it again. Uh, it, it definitely uh, touches on depression and how, how, how people cope with it and how people deal with it. And if you, for people that have had depression, I think it's a great it's a relatable movie, um, and, and it, it may help you, you know, in a way. Uh, spoilers, this is spoiler, so, I mean, this doesn't have, like, the happiest ending in the world. I mean, you know, <clears throat> he basically, uh, um, there's a lot of flashback scenes, but Kate Saffler basically kills, accidentally goes to get beer at 3 in the morning and leaves the fireplace without a vent on it and a log falls out and uh, ends up burning the house down with his three kids in it and the wife lives, Michelle Williams. And so he pretty much becomes uh, dead inside, um, divorced obviously the wife and uh, like I said it's very kind of just flashbacky. It starts off with him in Boston, you don't really know what's going on with him if you haven't watched the trailers or the synopsis of it. Uh, which I didn't, I went completely blinded into it, just heard great things about it, heard mixed reviews, but for the most part I heard, you know, a lot of good things, <clears throat> and uh, I like depressing movies, so, kind of, that kind of worked. So anyway, um, basically, um, his brother, who also, uh, knew, had a heart condition that knew that he had about 10 years to live, he ends up dying, so he has to get back to the town that he had moved away from after the horrible accident with his kids and so he uh, has to look after his brother's uh, son uh, because the mother once she found out that his the case of Affleck's brother had this heart condition she lost it got alcoholic went on drugs went crazy like left nobody knew where she nobody knew like where she was for a long time <clears throat> and uh, so he leaves the, uh, the the kid to Casey Affleck, who's 17, you know, he doesn't have to stay with him as a guardian for much longer. Uh, so he has to go back to the city, face his demons, see his ex-wife, uh, Michelle Williams, who is pregnant now and moved on, as he is not. And, uh, and uh, it's just a gut-wrenching movie, but um, like I said, really, it really focuses on the topics of depression. And um, and what it and what it you know how how do you keep on you know if if you're not going to cure yourself but you don't want to be happy where do you find that fine line of 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 being able to cope and just be stable enough to keep going each day without wanting to blow your brains out or or you might want to blow your brains out, but not blowing your brains out, more like it, um, and just uh, getting by, basically, um, the best you can, if you can't beat the depression, and you can't beat you know, that void that is uh, in your soul, and in your heart, and in your mind, <laughs> so, it's, uh, the score is amazing. I really like it. Uh, Leslie, uh, I don't know, her name is Leslie. She hasn't done much, but um, there's a lot of, one of my favorite scenes is the, the scene where, you know, he, he approaches the fire where his house is being burned down and it's just nothing but music and kind of like a slow motion epic monologue scene. And then the funeral is, is also a score where there's no talking, and it's kind of a slow motion, showing people hug them, and having Michelle Williams, seeing her for the first time in like, uh, shoot, I think like 19 years or something, no, maybe not 19 years, but a long time, and, uh, and so, uh, 
that's just really intense. And then there's a they finally a Michelle and Michelle Williams character, his ex-wife, and uh, him finally talk in present day if, since the the accident. And it's really an intense moment. And um, just hats off to both those actors. And I truly believe that um, uh, that Casey Affleck man is probably his best performance I've ever seen him do. Um, I, you could see the pain and, the, and just the the non-emotional like like I said being dead inside you could just he was very he, he just monotone deadpan you could tell there's nothing in there and he did a great job portraying that and so I really hope that he is Oscar for or he is nominated for an Oscar and I hope that he I think he deserves it. I really do. Uh, there's a lot of tough competition out there, so chances are he probably won't. But I, I think that he definitely deserves. If he wins, he deserves it. If he doesn't, there are a lot of other great contenders out there that they do deserve it. Um, <clears throat> so I give it a four out of five. Four out of five stars, and um, definitely highly recommend it. Uh, you know, if you get to emotional for movies maybe you might not be able to handle it I don't know there's some humor to it some lightheartedness to it and it doesn't have like the worst saddest ending in the world I mean he he, he can't beat the, like it says a spoiler review he can't beat the depression and so but he's better for coming back and doing what he did and spending time with his nephew it has he's gotten a little bit of closure and so, uh, yeah, best, best picture, nominated for best picture, best actor, Casey Affleck, and best uh, actress um, for Michelle Williams. So, uh, the Oscars agree with me on this one. So, anyway, that's my review. Hope you watch it. Let me know what you think. Comment in the comment box. Sayonara.